I used to detest cabbage growing up, but with this recipe, I can eat it weekly. It's that good. To start off, we obviously need a cabbage, and I'm not about to tell you how to cut your cabbage. Cut it how you like. This is my preference. I love sliced cabbage. On to the cooking part. I've cut one onion into wedges, like so, and I also sliced two cloves of garlic. I think it just looks so pretty when you slice garlic in this recipe, but if you're not a fan of it, you can totally cut it how you like. And then I also added one diced tomato. And um, the goal here is to cook it for no more than three minutes because we don't want to cook the crunch out of it. I also like to add bell peppers. Feel free to use any color of bell pepper you like, the green ones, the orange ones, the yellow ones, all of them at once if you want to just add some beautiful color to your, to your mix. You only need to cook it for mm, about two minutes on medium heat. So at this stage, add your chopped cabbage, diced cabbage, however you cut your cabbage, cabbage, and give it a quick mix. And then it's time to add some flavor. Some stock cube, some black pepper, and some cumin powder. So first in goes the cumin powder, about one teaspoon of it, and then just a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then you want to break up the little stock cube into smaller pieces. And then very important step, vinegar one tablespoon of it. Don't skip this. It really makes it special. And the vinegar doesn't just add good tang, but it also creates steam to help wilt the cabbage. I also add a half a teaspoon of salt, only that, and a little water. If you want it to be saucy, aka rojo, aka choosy, add more water. I love mine crunchy, so I don't put that much water in mine. And once the cabbage is wilted a little, you're ready to then add in one grated carrot. Mix it in for about 30 seconds. Don't overcook, really. I can't stress this enough. That's it. The last step is maduedo garnishes. I'm using cilantro, but you can use parsley. You can also use basil. It works just as well. And that's it for me, guys. I hope you have a good weekend. Let me know if you try this recipe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.